8, I wanted to uh, uh, just tell a little story because I noticed you have a Toshiba laptop from another video that you're going to be covering. Gotcha. I just want to tell you, my first laptop was a Toshiba similar to that one. It was a 75 megahertz deal, right? It was a Pentium 1 75 megahertz. Let me tell you why I went and got that one of all the laptops. This is a neat little story I want to tell you. Uh, I wanted to tell everybody anyway. Years and years ago, I went to a buddy's computer shop. I go there for spare parts. I used to go there for spare parts, this and that. You know, the occasional bracket or set of screws, whatever. And I went in there for the same reason. And on a table, he had this laptop. It was a Toshiba laptop, similar similar to that one and okay the story was it fell out of a guy's trunk on the interstate it, he hit a bump and it and it bounced out of his trunk so it flew around on the interstate bounced around and I looked at it every piece of plastic was broken every key was either lodged or gone dislodged or gone okay and the screen was shattered and I, so I asked him, uh, what's the deal with this laptop? And he told me it fell out of somebody's trunk. And I was like, okay, well, have you tested it? He goes, why would I want to test it? It's a complete loss. I'm like, really? So we hooked up an external keyboard, monitor, and mouse and plugged in the power supply. And it turned on. It put up a safe mode screen, says not shut down properly. And also, please update whatever antivirus it was at the time now this is way back in the day in like I want to say 99 that's not exactly back in the day but it's a while back I want to say 1999 so that's what turned me on to Toshiba's particularly the old gray Toshiba's and I looked back and I'm, now I've got like a collection of Toshiba laptops and they all work they refuse my original 75 megahertz I still have it and it refuses to stop working those things rock so you got a good machine right there that one up there that great Toshiba it's a good machine it will continue working it won't do more than it's designed to do but it will do what it's designed to do until the end of the LCD right because then pretty much it's a loss <laughs> but even the LCD on that busted up laptop and out of the dude's trunk, even it turned on. It just, it was smashed so you couldn't see much. But everything worked on it. Windows booted up. The hard drive was good. The motherboard was good. All the connections were good. I was amazed. And I was like, I told my buddy, hey, I will give this guy 25 bucks as is right now. He goes, no, no, no. It's going to be covered in insurance and he's got to show proof. And I was like, ah. But I wanted to just tell you that that laptop is a good one. I even went ahead and got a couple of... Now, these two are broken. T1200s, right? A friend of mine got them for me. Two T1200 computers. They are broken. One has a busted LCD, and the other one will not turn on at all. I'm, I'm not going to troubleshoot them right at the moment because i got bigger fish to fry, right? But they have all the accessories, all the boot discs. That was the cool thing for my working T1200. So yeah, I have three. It's got okay. T1200 looks like a, a a small typewriter, right? So it's pretty big. And mine has a broken JVC hard drive in it, but the whole thing looks like it's held together with duct tape and screws. I swear to God, and it still works. It will read every disc. Yeah, I have to clean the floppy disk drive, but who cares? It still works. And it does really good. Okay, less than five minutes. I have to get out of here. I have to stop taping because this thing will refuse my upload if it's very much longer. Thanks a lot. Had to tell you. Neat little story. Toshiba's rock. I'm very happy with them up till about 2005. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Will you...